One of the benefits of not buying a AAA title at release is that there's no actual hype by the time you get a hold of the game. And usually if you wait until the game has been patched, the experience that you do wind up with is slightly less frustrating and much more enjoyable in terms of the actual gameplay and the story. And for me, the story is everything. One of the great disappointments for me about Cyberpunk is that the story is so short. And the reason for that is it's actually a great story. It's a, a story not unlike Mass Effect 3. It's this beautiful parable about life and death and the inevitability of the end of your own life. It's a story of acceptance. Accepting our mistakes and flaws. Accepting that we will eventually grow old. Accepting that we will change. Ultimately it asks the player what they would do if they knew they were dying. Would they take matters into their own hands? Would they fight for one more day? Would they accept that they've had their time already? And it does this while subtly confronting the player with the idea that the world is only yours for a brief moment, and that it will never be the same again. The fact that life is about moving forward, and leaving things behind, occasionally even leaving your dreams behind, understanding that life will move forward without you, that someone else will eventually have to move on from you but that it's up to you to draw meaning from that and that you alone are the one who makes that decision, nobody else. At the end of the day where Mass Effect 3 and Cyberpunk 2077 shares very similar themes in terms of the storytelling, the style of storytelling is very different. Mass Effect goes out of its way to tell its story during the journey towards its endings and then fails to deliver on those endings. Whereas Cyberpunk really doesn't tell its story properly until you get to the endings. Which for me is the real tragedy of Cyberpunk 2077 because they failed to tell the story along the way, few people actually bothered to go through to the ending. So much of the meaningful content is hidden away in side missions. Now I've completed the game 8 times, I've gotten all of the endings with different variations and I have to say the story is there, it's strong. But it's never presented in a fashion that comes across in a, in a really compelling way. Where Mass Effect effectively uses each individual character arc as a, a platform to launch the main plot from, Cyberpunk actively avoids showing off as much about each individual character as possible. Which means that you can wind up in a position where you don't know enough about each character to even care about them, or even miss them entirely. Which can leave you in a position where you simply aren't interested in finding out what happens to them next. And that's a real shame because the story has some actual impact. It's worth playing through to the end. It just needed to be presented better.